Melf, the Hanukkah Elf by Greg Wolf. Read to you today by Gabby. Up at the North Pole, covered in snow, you'll find Santa's workshop, as most of you know. But no one can do all that work by themselves, so helping him out is his army of elves. The most unsung elves of those who assist are the elves in charge of checking the list. They all work so hard, down to the last elf, and the newest of them all was a fellow named Shmelf. Melf didn't spend time playing merry elf games, but sat in his cubicle staring at names. His job was to check through Santa's list twice to see whether kids had been naughty or nice. Smelf loved what he did, but as Christmas drew near, he looked at his list and he cried out, Oh dear! He'd found many children who had been quite good, but would not receive presents, though it seemed that they should. Ran like a flash to see the head elf, who smiled and said, Now, now, calm yourself, Smell. Of course you don't know, since you're quite still newish, but the kids on this list are actually Jewish. They don't celebrate Christmas, but that's fine, you see. They celebrate Hanukkah, their own jubilee. It won't be dear Santa who brings them a gift, but their mommies and daddies. Do you get my drift? Smell returned to his desk. His mind was quite shaken. Kids with no Christmas? He must be mistaken. So later that night, careful not to be missed, he snuck off to visit a house on the list. Smell peered in and wondered, could this be right? There wasn't a tree or a stocking in sight. Instead, he saw menorahs with candles so thin and children were given their dreadles a spin. There was gilt chocolate coins wrapped up in gold foil and lockies frying in pans filled with oil. Then Smell saw there were presents, one for each night. His elfish eyes gleamed as he squealed with delight. Smell listened as mom told the Hanukkah story of the Maccabees battle of Israel's glory. And though the brave soldiers won their great fight, their temple had oil for just one more night. But once they set the oil ablaze, a miracle happened. It lasted eight days. Hey, now I get it, Smell said with a grin. Hanukkah's awesome. I'm totally in. He raced back north and went straight to the boss. The big man himself, good old Santa Claus. Smell explained his discovery, his holiday grand. And when he was done, Santa held up his hand. Good, Schmelf, chuckled Santa. It fills me with joy to see how you care for Jewish girls and boys. It shows me that you are much more than a clerk, and so I will task you with this special work. Hanukkah is a time for family and song, for joy and tradition is where you belong. I've decided at Hanukkah you'll travel the world bringing magic and joy to each boy and each girl. Santa gave Smelf clothes of white and of blue, the colors of Hanukkah that much Smelf knew, and a sleigh that could soar straight through the air with a Jewish reindeer named Asher. Now, you good Jewish kids, for eight nights each December, Smelf will come visit some years in November. He'll make sure your lackeys are crispy and thin, your menorahs burn brighter, and your dreidels win. If there's one special gift that you like this year, tell Smelf. He'll whisper in mom or dad's ear. He'll do what he can to nudge them that way in hopes that the present brings cheers of hooray. To reward Smelf and Ashir for all their goodwill, you can leave out some guilt in a nice kosher deal. What a magical Hanukkah you'll think to yourself. See you next year. Smelf the Hanukkah Elf. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.